Are you finally trying cologne? <laughs> <laughs> no, just putting on some repellent before I go on a hike. Oh, good idea. Mosquitoes can be such pests. Oh, yeah, well, not just mosquitoes. We have tick repellent, bear repellent, hawk repellent, animated gator repellent, spider repellent, and of course, I have a little... Hold on, let me guess. Is it odor repellent because oh. you need it? Oh, close, so oh, close. Wait, 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 wait. Here you go. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Wah! Wah! What is that? Brandon repellent. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And you're watching the, the So and So Show. We have a very exciting show for you today. We sure do. With a very special guest who's with us. Yeah, she sure is. Who's gonna teach us about traveling. She sure what? Please wait. welcome. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait I wait. thought that we were teaching about kindness. Yeah, but we're talking about that in the Bible story. I thought we could open this whole thing up talking about the great outdoors before that. Well, the Bible story takes place in the great outdoors, so we don't need to talk about that now. Besides, I already invited a, a guest to talk about kindness. What? They're here now? Yeah. But 
So is my guest. But you can't have no, your no, no, guest. No, 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 what if my guest goes first, then your guest can go next? Well, then you'll cut our segment short, and that's not enough time. Well, I'm not gonna tell my guest she can't. Come on, she's the perfect guest. Mine too. Did someone say manners? No. Please no, welcome. No, no, please welcome. Melinda no, 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 Manners. No, 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 <laughs> uh, no. Oh, oh, um, oh right in front of you. Excuse me. Um, uh, but pardon, pardon, please. Whoop. Looks like we're doing the double shuffle. There you go. I've got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, thank you so, so much for coming. For being a special guest so on our show today, Melinda. Please, no problem. Call me That's Miss the first time I've had to share Apologies and apologies oh, if well, I know. Well, why don't you let the viewers know who you are and what you know? Quite all right. Like sharing know. is caring and caring is sharing. Hey there. I never I'm Sugar Dill to World, and I work the for the spotlight. Thomas and Traveling <laughs> Carnival. Did she just steal my spotlight? Oh, yeah, line? they're gonna steal lines and spotlights and segments. Oh, yeah. oh we must never make faces at another yeah, person. So it sounds like you uh, enjoy the Thank traveling you. carnival, so you must uh, enjoy traveling. I'm so the, that that's why that. you're the perfect the, guest. You, you know, travel you so are often. our kindness expert. Yeah, well, that's too kind often. of you to say. I've been carrying the same kindness backpack for the last two years. It's about showing years. others a valuable life. How you treat them. <laughs> How old are you? It's, it's not polite, polite to ask a lady her age. I'm sorry. Moving I'm just on. kidding. It was kind of oh. to be here but I have been traveling for so long, also and within a moment's too. notice, Still that I have learned sugar how to pack everything into snow. one bag of the most Actually, efficient I way have possible. A book about oh. this. Oh, you have a book. Okay, great. Hmm. Uh, what's in there? Uh, well, let's see. Okay. Oh, hi. It's part of a. Oh, here's the deodorant. <laughs> oh. Which you could use. <laughs> oh, does this help you, John? I didn't, I... Clothes. Oh. Which need to be washed. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Mm. I know I have this book in here somewhere. Ah! And for when I get bored. A trillion ways to be kind. Oh, okay. I'm Melinda Manners. Good heavens, you found my book. No. It's my book. I beg your pardon, darling. As you can see on the cover, I wrote it. Yes, and as you can see on the cover, it came out of my bag. And I'm reading it. Would you please be so kind as to hand me my book this instant? Finders, keepers. Losers, weepers! Hey, hey, oh, hey, this is kind of hey, 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 Oh, here's your hat. Here. Uh huh. Being kind to someone shows you care. To care is to share. Oh. To care is to share. I'd forgotten I wrote that. Yeah. Uh... I think we all need to learn that. <laughs> yeah. I suppose we should share the spotlight. Oh, but we don't have a... Oh. It's, it's Bible, Bible story, story time! time. Are you packing for a trip? <laughs> More like unpacking. I see. Well, actually, this is perfect. Would you like to help me unpack this story? Why, I'd be sure. delighted. Great. Join me for another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. <laughs> Our story today is from the book of Ruth. Once. There was a famine in the land of Judah, which meant there wasn't enough food for everyone. So, families left their homes in search of food. One of those families was Naomi, her husband, and two sons. While they were gone, Naomi's husband died, and her two sons married Orpah and Ruth. They all lived together for about 10 years until the two sons also died. When Naomi heard there was food in Judah again, she prepared to return. On their way to Judah, Naomi had a change of heart. I've been 
thinking. You two should go back to your homeland. I can't offer you anything better. May the Lord be as kind to you as you have been to me through all these years. When Orpah and Ruth heard this, they broke down and wept loudly. Oh, but Naomi, we want to go with you. Ah, go home, my daughters. Why would you want to come with me? Ah, 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 Orpah chose to return home, but Ruth held on to Naomi. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. <gasps> All right, come along. <gasps> they arrived just in time to harvest the barley, so there was plenty to eat. I'll run to the fields and pick up grain that's left over. I'm new here, so I hope someone will be kind to me. As it turned out, that field belonged to a relative of Naomi's husband. His name was Boaz. He was a very important man. Who are you? I'm Ruth. I returned with Naomi. Ah, yes. <laughs> I've heard all about you. You can gather as much grain from my field as you like. Why are you being so kind to me? Well, because you left your family to be with Naomi. You came to live here in a new land with people you don't know. That's a very kind thing to do. Thank you. You bet. Later, Boaz shared his food with Ruth. She ate till she was full and saved the leftovers for Naomi. On top of that kind act, Boaz gave her extra grain to take home. Ruth ended up with 30 pounds of barley. Yum! Who did you say gave us all this food? His name is Boaz. <gasps> you should totally marry that guy. <laughs> and that's what happened. Ruth and Boaz were married. Naomi's life was changed because of Ruth's kindness. And Ruth's life was changed because of Boaz's kindness. Kindness changes things. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Me too. This has been the best day. <laughs> the end. Wow, who knew kindness could make such an impact? Right? And the impact was bigger than you know because Ruth and Boaz went on to have a son who would be the great, 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 a lot of greats grandfather of Jesus. Whoa, that sounds like kindness changes people's lives. It sure does. Thank you all for kindly helping. Thank you for the amazing story. We'll see you next time. My word, what an excellent example of kindness. Yeah, Ruth could have gone back home to live with her family, but she chose to stay with her mother-in-law in a strange land. It's really cool because sometimes it's hardest to be kind to the people who are the closest to you, but you should really try. Yeah, that's something I should have done earlier. I'm sorry for not consulting you about our guest. Yeah, me too. Mm. Well done, chap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reveal the question. When is it hard to be kind? Mm. All the time. <laughs> here, here. Sugar, I can possibly imagine that being kind is a challenge for you. Oh, you'd be surprised. But yeah, it is. Especially when it's someone close to me. Not physically close. Like a close friend. Like you two. Oh, yeah, it is strange, but it's true. Uh, there are times when we get on each other's nerves. Yeah, or hurt each other's feelings. Or make each other angry. And when that happens, it can be difficult to show kindness. Yeah, but ultimately, our friendship is more important than the stuff that irritates us. So we find ways to stay kind and to keep the friendship going. Yeah. 
Thanks for sharing, boys. Now it's your turn. When is it hard to be kind? Discuss it together. And we'll see you next time on... The, the So-and-So -so Show! Show. Four-part harmony. Let's try it again. Two, three, four. The So-and-So -so Show! <laughs> Just like Bananarama. To share is... Nope, that's said it wrong. I'm gonna back it up. It's to bear it's to each bear. other's burdens. <laughs> ah. Or make each other angry. Yeah, and then what happens is we can't be something we, we don't have, know. We, can't, we just fumble yeah. through our minds just and like we can't say the things, the things that, that is there that right on the screen. My mouth. Wherever you go, whatever you do, we're gonna go through this separately. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Do it like that, Brandon. Wow! Show it again. Wow! Okay. <laughs> wow! And almost bang my head on the yeah. table. Wow! <laughs> He'll actually bang. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Is that close? <laughs> That's it. Okay. I feel like I'm not doing what you're doing. Okay. Wow! The <laughs> So and So Show! Wow! <laughs> you did it. You know, I can't, I can't do it.